Matt Raby is the Chief of Public Affairs for the Portland District of the Army Corps of Engineers. Here's how we describe the operation. There is a high spot in the navigation channel right below the Dalles Dam, so we need to go in and remove that to ensure that we have a nice clean, open uh, navigation channel for all the barges that are heading upriver and coming back down. There are these in-water work windows uh, where agencies are allowed to conduct this type of operation uh, without any concern of uh, uh, injuring or delaying uh, salmon passage. We do need to get this done this week before that window closes. All right, we're talking about, I believe, 4,900 cubic yards of material. When you take it out, where do you put it? There are naturally deep areas in the Columbia River, and so we are looking at a sump that's about 1,000 feet downstream of where the project is taking place. Uh, So we will be putting the materials back in the river uh, just downstream. Okay. And uh, originally the bid uh, thought it might go between 100,000 and 250,000. Do we know what it finally ended up at? Yeah, so those, those are really just ranges uh, so that uh, folks can understand kind of the magnitude. The contract was awarded to J.E. McCamus and Company uh, for $93,000. And they have the equipment to do this kind of work, and they have uh, familiarity with uh, the course process. That definitely makes it easier. Anything I should be asking I haven't thought about? This is a one-day job. The company is uh, coming in and removing this material uh, in just one day, and they're able to do it in a fashion that Uh, has no impediments to uh, navigation on the river. So if a barge were to come up and need passage uh, past the dam, uh, this contractor can just move out of the way, allow that barge to go through, and then resume. You know, and this uh, job keeps the inland waterways open uh, to fuel barges heading upriver as well as uh, grain barges coming back down. Right, and there's an immense amount of traffic. I forgot the evaluation of it, but it's in the high millions at this point. Uh, yeah, there's a um, system is a $20 billion uh, highway. Mostly that's from Portland out to the coast. But a lot of that, a lot of those commodities do come downriver uh, in the form of grain uh, and then head back upriver in the form of fuel. Uh, so there's definitely a value on this inland navigation system, and we need to do everything possible to keep it open.